I was working in a marina when out of the murky water, within an arm's reach, appeared the head of a three metre penguin eating apex predator. I was staring into the eyes of a leopard seal named Orpha, the world's first urban leopard seal. Leopard seals famously live in Antarctica, so to see one in the middle of Auckland city was unusual to say the least. However, I recently co-authored research which showed that they have been encountered by thousands of people right across New Zealand. When humans and wildlife cohabitate, negative impacts are often reported by stakeholders. So with humans and leopard seals now cohabitating in New Zealand, it is important to determine what impacts are being perceived so that the well-being of both people and seals can be ensured. The negative impacts of human leopard seal cohabitation may seem obvious. Leopard seals have a fearsome reputation, as anyone who's watched Happy Feet can tell you, and humans don't have the best reputation when it comes to harassing wildlife. However, little research has looked at what happens when humans and leopard seals meet. So I set out to see how we are getting along in New Zealand. First, I surveyed Auckland Marina users to record their perceived impacts of cohabitation, and 85% came back with at least one negative impact. These ranged from, she's getting in the way of accessing boats, to she's damaging dinghies and fenders, but the most common was, she might hurt someone. So next, I interviewed people who had encountered Orpha to learn more about her behaviour and how dangerous it might be. I was told many accounts of Orpha suddenly popping up next to people as they walked along the marina or rode in their boats. And a diver told me how she swept through the water and came to a stop right in front of her and then just looked at her. She and many other interviewees felt that Orpha was simply being curious and they ultimately enjoyed their encounter despite any initial fright. However, Orpha didn't seem to enjoy the encounters that weren't on her terms, as when a young man tried to touch her, she raised her head high and made a loud grunting noise before turning and slipping into the water. I also looked at the behaviour of leopard seals resting on Otago's beaches and saw that they could sleep all day, but they were disturbed if a person or dog approached within 20 metres. This research showed that negative impacts are being perceived by both people and seals during cohabitation in New Zealand. But that many encounters had a neutral or positive impact. With this knowledge, we have the power to manage our interactions so that the seals get the rest they need and we can have an enjoyable encounter the next time we see a leopard seal.